Since the outbreak of the coronavirus in December 2019 in Wuhan, China, the pandemic gradually has made headlines across the globe as it spread from person to person, compelling some governments to call for a lockdown of their countries. Making sure people are complying. Uh, Here we know it's exhausted it's doctors decide who lives and who dies. There's no room for other patients at this hospital in Lombardy. This is taken by government to deal with the virus. Ghana recorded its first case on the 12th March 2020. The Ghanaian government had to quickly put in measures to curtail the spread of this virus. And the effects can be felt across the economic spectrum. One of the hardest hit areas is the tourism industry. Elmina in the central region of Ghana can easily pass as the heartbeat of Ghana's tourism industry. It's primarily a very active town and a hotbed for tourism. It boasts of the Elmina Castle or St. George's Castle, which is the oldest European structure south of the Sahara. The town also has one of the oldest Catholic churches in the country, the St. Joseph's Minor Basilica, which stands on a Roman hill. On the Jago Hill stands the 465-year-old Fort St. Jago. On a normal weekend, droves of people visit these historic sites, which has been one of the main sources of income for a number of young entrepreneurs in the town. Who run their small souvenir shops and tour companies. The same cannot be said today, as the Ghanaian government has ordered the closure of tourist sites and other venues that promote mass gathering. We caught up with Kwame, who owns two souvenir shops in Elmina, with one strategically located in the Elmina Castle, and the other located close to the Coconut Grove Beach Resort. He tells us how he is coping with the closure of the castle. Well, four years now, I started a meal print um, shop way. Um, when Bibia, the what happened? We were at the Mobutum, and now they are the sons of them, or the other brother. The American, or yes, the Nankasa, and Kasa, Sessiano. Um, Obia, my friend, on share shop way, my moko fee. Um, apart from e, you know, more cross wheel castle inside. Says, you know, oh yeah, Elmina Castle, St. George's Castle, inside, Watum, Castle and Gaza Watum, a one year juma, and the shop on so matum. And now, Lady Vino, I want to saw share shop on so on the castle, Watum, and the shop so in a Watum tea, no so, but in a few, says, you know, she. Since I have um, shops have been here, on year, year, year two million years, you um, know, a day we lose around four hundred Ghana cedis. Um, and here yeah, for shops, the younger, younger, um, but um, with oh yeah, toss now, zina, I know yeah, me yeah, I said this um shops, you know, I know this um, me fun county, but yeah, to I know so no um, yeah, fish, younger, younger, sir. Far from Kwame Souvenir Shop is Akumapa Village, a cultural center which also offers some lodging facility to tourists. The center is run by Raz Kobi. Before the outbreak of the COVID-19, his center was a go-to place for tourists who took interest in traditional Ghanaian drumming and dancing. He also offered his services to hotels in Elmina. But now, the story is different. I 
Corona and we are hard drink, we hard drink because we affect business. You know, your rooms, guest rooms, you know, you cancel your bookings now. The now the house is empty. Empty. You are not hard drink. Now, oh, you're fine. Now, how you busy? Now, me want more bookings. Until now, me want plans ahead. Ah, me name say oh, near my bed, fine. Towards the fashion impo. But my mate and say me guess you will be a cancer there on but me want Polish group be an anko but festival. Oh, me know my cancer until like yeah. At least if you then can my bed, yeah, slow, slow. But now because of that, why my work is maybe or them my work of here. Simple because now guests to be amber and then monthly the missing metria I had it or them in my uncle fear and then I think Nipa Bay to be na may maintain for now it will fear because will be amber and then because of your ribbon soon tea in a name will be also try there or be protecting on that while wife and self here because of yeah will be amped will be won't tea. Now me warm up from maybe we are Poland for support my major feeding program. Yeah, I think this Sunday you feed me. Yeah, yeah, need they are. Me yeah they need pattern and I see for me to me. I yeah for the week crank across it near my bed because yeah into me yeah and I wonder how all sponsors are now positioned. Oh me now she said they. Kofi Emisa is the co-owner of Lemon Beach Resort. It's Monday morning and he's having a crunch meeting with two of his key staff. The discussion is mainly centered on the emergency strategies being put in place to sustain the business as prices for basic supplies keep surging, coupled with multiple cancellation of reservations, now a common feature in the hotel industry. He tells us how his company is adapting to the situation. Before coronavirus, like um, we're great, we're we're doing we're doing well with uh, with business. Uh, as you know, we are like new kids on the block. We just started operating first November. That's last year, and then uh, that was like the period that we've been in existence. And now uh, business was great. Uh, we always had like about seventy percent of occupancy. Yeah, we had people canceling their their reservation, and we're like, "Wow, this thing is real," because uh, there was no one coming. And then the the people that we had on our reservation system started canceling their reservation. Before coronavirus hit, like we had the first two cases in Ghana. Um, yeah, even even like this weekend, we had like four occupancy, right? Four occupancy, but now. We don't have it anymore. And before we heard about the two first cases in Ghana, I was like looking on my phone and I just started receiving SMS. I had nine cancellations. So you can imagine how coronavirus has affected us as Lemon Beach Resort. Yeah. Before we had like these two first cases, uh, I actually went to the market. People were not serious about it, but I went to the market. I we even have like nose masks, like nose masks, like about a thousand of them. We have like hand gloves. Uh, whenever guest uh, workers are going to the rooms and all this, that we provided for them. Uh, since we are not having clients now, uh, then we tend our workers to actually help us do this kind of clean up uh, in the in the results and then. Uh, as well as today, you know, we you know we don't have any guests at the, at the moment, so we were trying to fumigate around. So we're fumigating around the pool, the house, and the, like the rooms, including the restaurants. Uh, so this is what we have been doing for now. But I would like to take this opportunity, right, to thank all our guests and clients who came to Lemon Beach Resort. I know you had fun and you had a great time. Uh, I know we have had a lot of uh, cancellations over these few days, right? Including uh, Bakatue, when we know that we are going to have like a full house, but uh, it's not possible now. But uh, 
we are praying in June, uh, per, per what the World Health Organization is saying that uh, maybe it will be possible. So we don't want you to actually cancel your your reservation totally, but uh, we would like to receive you, and then uh, it will be our pleasure to welcome you at Lemon Beach, uh, just to just to serve you. The cost implication cannot be underestimated. According to the World Travel and Tourism Council, the global coronavirus outbreak has put about 50 million jobs at risk. The Olmina Castle will be losing about 35,000 Ghana cities weekly, based on a calculation of 100 visits daily. Until a vaccine is found for the COVID-19, the doors of the Elmina Castle will remain closed to the public, and its car park will remain empty. These drums at the Akumapa village will remain silent with no one to beat it for people to dance to its rhythm.